Okay friends, after knowing uh, the various uh, pests of uh, sugar cane uh, and its uh, damage symptoms, let us see how best uh, one can uh, manage uh, uh, these pests by using uh, various methods like uh, cultural methods, physical methods, then uh, biological methods and also incorporating some of the bio pesticides and uh, lastly when it is uh, required the uh, chemicals which are uh, uh, specific chemicals. Uh, again is to target insect pests. In integrated pest management, culture practice they are very much important. Sugarcane ecosystem wherein uh, which actually uh, plays very important role. So, removal of uh, the previous troubles, deep plowing and intercultural operation and timely irrigation these are the some of the uh, culture practices that has to be followed uh, to uh, minimize the pest incidents and also at the same time to increase uh, natural enemies including uh, the fungus. In case of uh, beetles that is uh, uh, root drops, so one has to take uh, care at uh, early itself and uh, immediately after uh, emergence of uh, these uh, beetles they are going to feed on uh, this uh, neem tree and one has to correct and uh, uh, destroy as well one can use uh, uh, some light traps also. Resistant uh, varieties, it is one of the important uh, component in uh, integrated pest management program. In case of sugar cane, there are uh, various good number of resistant or tolerant varieties against uh, each pest. So, for uh, early shoot borer, there are few important uh, cultivable varieties. Likewise, recently for wool aphid, uh, there are uh, important uh, resistant varieties released from Karnataka that is uh, SNK series 44, 61 and also 74. In case of uh, early shoot borer, earthing up it is one of the important uh, practices uh, to be uh, followed thereby as well it can uh, reduce the, its uh, infestation very effectively. And wherever you find uh, the problem of uh, termites and also root grubs, one should apply the rotten format manure. Otherwise, it is uh, going to cause again uh, much damage by enhancing the multiplication of termites and uh, root grubs in that system. Avoid uh, the high application of nitrogenous fertilizers, which are going to attract the number of uh, sucking insect pests like uh, pyrilla, woolly aphid and even sometimes these borers also. And for early shoot borer management uh, or uh, water management uh, system, so irrigate the crop at closer intervals, thereby you can reduce the population of uh, this early shoot borer. Detrashing, it is one of the important uh, cultural practice and uh, which actually eliminates or reduces the population of scale insect, mealybugs and also woolly aphid and to some extent all the stock borers. And wherever possible intercropping uh, system should be followed like uh, onion, garlic, coriander. So, it is going to uh, keep away the some of the insect pests especially this uh, shoot borers. And uh, do not uh, retain uh, the water shoots which are going to attract uh, the all the insects both uh, sucking insect pests and also the borers. Hence, uh, one should uh, periodically remove these water shoots in a sugarcane ecosystem. And always uh, practice uh, deep uh, harvesting which uh, actually helps in the destruction of the uh, stubbles and uh, as well you can uh, maintain the or uh, reduce the population of uh, insect pests during next season. And uh, trash mulching immediately after uh, uh, planting which is also one of the important uh, practice can be followed thereby you can increase the natural enemies and which natural enemies going to uh, reduce the pest population especially this early shoot borer. In case of uh, woolly aphid wherever the problem of woolly aphid uh, is existing there one can practice paired row system of uh, planting thereby it going to reduce the uh, population. And uh, wrapping of canes all along the rows it also reduces the woolly aphid population and propping the canes uh, to uh, especially to prevent uh, lodging uh, due to this uh, stock borer 
and also even sometimes it also prevents the attack from the some of the rodents. So, there are a few physical control practices can be adapted in uh, sugarcane ecosystem. For uh, termite uh, management first locate this uh, termitoria and uh, destroy the uh, queen from that uh, termitoria and uh, uh, set up the light traps for uh, attraction of uh, white grubs at uh, early season thereby one can uh, collect and uh, kill these uh, uh, white grubs. And uh, adults can be even collected from other uh, uh, sources uh, like uh, uh, neem trees at early stage uh, that during early season of the uh, crop. And this uh, detrashing especially at 150th and 210th uh, day after uh, planting uh, really it helps in the reduction of uh, uh, measure of the uh, sucking insect pest, especially this uh, woolly aphid and also the scale insects. Some of the mechanical practices like uh, uh, collection of uh, egg mosses and uh, also the destruction of uh, some of the affected plants can be practiced and even one can uh, install some of the light traps which are uh, uh, available and even if they are not available one can uh, put the available uh, uh, lights in their uh, fields so that it can attract uh, many insect pests especially these uh, uh, beetles and also sometimes even some of the lepidopteran pests also. Use uh, pheromone traps for uh, monitoring and uh, by installing uh, this uh, yellow sticky traps as well you can uh, bring down the population of woolly aphids and also white fly. At uh, planting time set treatment or cold water treatment it is also going to uh, help to reduce the uh, early shoot borer and if it is uh, uh, in, uh, in area where the problem of this uh, uh, scale is there or white fly or sometimes even mealybug is there. So, as well you can uh, practice this uh, hot water treatment. Then uh, for rodent control as well you can put uh, these some of the uh, snap traps to bring down the uh, population of these rodents. And there are some agronomic practice that can be uh, followed for the management of uh, this uh, woolly aphid. And uh, wherever uh, the woolly aphid population is uh, high in uh, those areas try to avoid uh, the planting of sugar cane under a tree or surrounding tree. So, it is going to act as site of source for this woolly aphid. And also intercultivation is one of the important practice to be followed in sugar cane ecosystem to bring down the many insect pests. Sugar cane ecosystem is one system. So, it accommodates many natural enemies both uh, uh, parasites, predators and even uh, uh, some uh, fungus also. So, those uh, uh, biogens can be encouraged by conserving them by adopting a suitable agronomic practices and uh, by applying uh, the safe and uh, uh, green insecticides. Epiricania eggs, so that is uh, one important uh, parasitoid in case of uh, pyrilla and these can be encouraged uh, to one has to prevent burning in the field. So, that because it contains lot of the uh, epirachnia eggs and uh, uh, if you burn it, it is going to destroy the entire population. After conservation, augmentation is one of the important practice, biological uh, uh, control practice can be adapted in case of sugarcane. There are many parasitoids and predators which are uh, commercially available by using uh, those uh, parasitoids and uh, uh, predators one can uh, uh, bring down the population of uh, uh, these uh, stock borers especially the uh, internode borer and also top shoot borer and even including early shoot borers. Trichogramma kilonis it is one of the uh, important uh, uh, parasitoid this can be released uh, in the sugarcane field at uh, rate of 20,000 per acre at uh, 10 days interval for 6 times. And likewise uh, the EPNs can be used for the management of termites and uh, root grubs.
again in continuation of the augmentation of some of the natural enemies. One important natural enemy which is available for the management of pyrilla that is Epiricania melanolica which is available commercially and some of the university and even some of the private agencies they are also producing these parasitoids. These can be used for augmentation purpose. For control of sugarcane woolly aphid we have a very good number of parasitoids and also predators defa aphidvara and micromas which are available in plenty number in sugarcane ecosystem these can be increased and at the same times these can be multiplied and released in the sugarcane for the management of this woolly aphid. So, after following all these cultural practices biological practices and if required then one can go for the suitable uh, control measures with uh, chemical control. There are uh, number of uh, chemicals which are available against each pest. These uh, chemicals can be used for the management of uh, uh, insect pest whenever they are necessary. Okay, friends, in case of sugarcane, uh, one should uh, follow the uh, good practice of agriculture because uh, uh, in sugarcane uh, it is very difficult to uh, manage the insects with uh, chemical control because uh, uh, going inside the uh, canopy it is very difficult. Hence one should follow the other methods of uh, uh, pest control whenever it is necessary one should go for this uh, chemical control. Thank you.